What receipts? Oh, you're going to find out. You're going to find out. You're going to find out about all the receipts. <gasps> Never enough caffeine. I'm going to start off by talking about a couple things that are percolating, percolating in the community. Hercules, Hercules. Here. It's story time. I'm just going to keep on working on things here to, uh, to set up, let people gather, hear all the stories. Story time. I got my closed captions going. Okay. And noise is up and running. Right? Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was a promise by a developer. Do, 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 do. Thank you for those 38 months, never enough caffeine. Good to see you. Why isn't uh, why isn't my noise thing going through? Studio, is it on studio? Studio noise stream manager. Still loading. Hmm. Uh, let me check my restream feed to make sure that's going through. Yeah, okay, it's on there, it's on the list. I don't know why it says stream offline. Connected. Okay, it says it's loading the arena in the crowd. It's just a little bit behind, I guess. Emily, Catherine, Chocolate Daddy, Warden Hiller is here. All right, let me just test this. Working. Make sure that the back and forth, going back and forth. There it is. All right, that's good. Good thing. Who this? Wow. Victor, thank you for the 100 biddies. Do 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 Emily Catherine, thank you for the hundred biddies as well. All right, are we ready? Okay, the noise is up now. I think we're good. We're good. All right. So first off, we're gonna talk about a couple of things going on and being discussed in the community, and some, frankly, some things that people are disgusted by. So we'll start off with this. Let me size this up right because we're going to do on the fly changes on the fly things that are normally reserved for videos but we're going to do it on the fly here might be some adjustments made all right so here's the first thing we're going to talk about i'm going to talk about this Boop. move this off to the side and center this up so this is a tweet that went out today that says if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet now is the time. Subscribe to the newsletter by April 22nd at 5 p.m. and receive 100,000 blood points on April the 23rd. 
follow the link and scroll down to access the form. Asterisk. Only new subscribers will receive this reward on April 23rd. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> like every single time that they have done this, if you were already subscribed to the newsletter, you got the benefits of previous newsletter emails. Why on earth would you stay subscribed to this thing if not for rewards? Isn't that the whole idea is to keep people subscribed to this? And now you're going to make it so that only the new people who are subscribed to this? <laughs> yeah, it's not like 100k blood points are going to break the bank here, but people want to feel like they're subscribed to this thing for a reason. So this went over like a fart in church. You did, yeah, I'll let you explore the comments if you want to about all the people who are like, why would I put up with your spam if there's no longer anything in it for me? Now, there was a time where they had all these individual codes, right? If you got a newsletter, you had a single use code that was tailored just for you. That was 30 characters that you would enter into the redemption area of the store to log in for your points. Well, I'm assuming that at some point that became a lot of work because they changed it to where uh, one of the codes was just like Alan Wake, right? Like when the email came out, the code just simply said Alan Wake. And then anybody could use it, even people who weren't subscribed to the newsletter, right? Or it was, it was either Alan Wake or Lights Out. I can't remember which one. Maybe it was both. Maybe it was both. But they had these word codes that were distributed in the emails, which weren't subscriber exclusives. Makes it a lot easier for people than having to generate a bunch of individual codes, but then it defeats the purpose of driving people to your newsletter because you don't even need to be the newsletter because Polyester is going to make a video about the words that people can use, whether they're subscribed or not, or it's just gonna get out on the internet, things like that. So then, and there was even, remember, there was even that one person who came in and said, hey, if you type in all things wicked, you get 100,000 blood points. And then, cause somebody was just like typing in stuff to see what would stick, like throwing spaghetti at the wall and see if anything would stick. And that code worked. So I said, oh, that's probably gonna be the code that they're going to put in the newsletter when the all things wicked chapter comes out for us to use but then word got out that that code was active before it was supposed to be so they shut that code down and they went back to generating individual codes for everybody right so now i'm i can only assume that this has become a lot of work as they have gathered more and more people to the newsletter that somebody has to generate the codes and attach them in emails. And usually the emails go out in waves every hour, every three hours. They can only do so many emails at a time, it seems, because they would come out in waves. Because I would have people who would tell me that they got their newsletter and I didn't get mine yet, and then I'd get mine three hours later. So it seemed like they were staggered, right? So now I must, I can only assume that this has become a lot of work for interns or who knows who to generate more and more codes as you build up the number of people who are subscribed to your newsletter that they have for whatever reason decided that now they're only gonna give the rewards to people who sign up for the newsletter between now and April 22nd, which is like, what? I, I don't know, is it a bad thing that you have so many people on your newsletter? Is it a bad thing that people are expecting rewards for being a subscribed to this newsletter? I think that has been the drum that you have been banging. Hey, if you're subscribed for the newsletter, you're gonna get rewards. The past newsletters that would say subscribe to the newsletter, the, the past tweets that said subscribe to the newsletter would say, if you're already subscribed to the newsletter, don't worry. You don't have to do anything. You're gonna get the reward. Until now, now you don't get squat. So why would you stay subscribed to this? Especially if you have other news sources, right? If you have other news sources that you know what's going on in Dead by Daylight and you're only on the newsletter because you want rewards, well, if they're cutting you off at the knees for rewards, why do you need it anymore? I don't know. 
like I said, it's not like 100k blood points are breaking the bank here. People, people gripe about even signing up for the newsletter because they don't feel like 100,000 blood points is enough. However, if you only had to sign up one time and you were grandfathered in to get every reward, then maybe you'd stick around, right? But if, you, if you're gonna sign up to get, like, say you haven't ever subscribed before, you're gonna sign up for this newsletter to get the 100,000 blood points now, and then you're not gonna get any rewards after that? Ah, who needs the headache? Why go through the trouble? Is it really worth it? But if you were subscribed to this newsletter and you could count on it that you were gonna get every reward from now until the end of time, then it's worth staying on. And there's a bunch of people who complain that they don't even get the emails. So I don't get it. I don't know what they're doing here. It doesn't make any sense to me why you would want to put this division in the community. The, the, the comments aren't flattering. The comments aren't flattering. Like I said, this is about as popular as a fart in church. I don't know what they're doing, what they're thinking. I don't know the process for distributing the codes. I don't know what it takes to get these emails out. But once you have put yourself on this treadmill that this is how you're going to do things, you have to continue to do it. Otherwise, people are going to be, like, not happy. And the comments reflect that. So. So if I unsubscribe from the newsletter and then resubscribe, can I get the reward? <laughs> you know, what, what is the criteria here? It's just ridiculous to me. I don't know what they're doing doesn't make any sense to me so that was the one thing I wanted to talk about the other thing I wanted to talk about was an assertion that I read on Twitter today that said behavior is real scared to release those PTB to live changes and they act like they're dragging their feet to put it out which they they aren't. I've made enough videos about the changes from PTB to live where they do a developer update to let us know what is gonna be changed from the public test build to the next live version that they're not late delivering it. Uh, and I have the receipts because I'm the one who made all the videos that are all dated on when they put out their statements and said, Here's the blog about what's changing between the public test build and live. And I've got all the dates for it. So for example, I can pull up the all things wicked changes from the public test build to live developer update that came out on the Thursday before the chapter came out on the Tuesday. So I think probably tomorrow we'll see, maybe Friday, we'll see an article saying, hey, here's what's changing for the mid-chapter patch between um, the public test build and the live version. Now, there's probably a lot of people who are waiting with bated breath to see what those changes are because we're all curious about what they can, what they've gotten done, what they've been able to change, what ideas they've come up with because there were a lot of problems with that PTB between all the things that broke from it updating to Unreal Engine 5 and as far as the whole idea of the rework of the twins, the people are waiting with bated breath to see what those changes are going to be. But I don't think behavior is like scared to show us what that is, you know? So they certainly aren't hiding or delaying the release. In my estimation, unless, you know, we get into next week and they haven't told us what it is yet. And then you can say, yeah, they're running scared or whatever it is. But I don't know. It's a little bit of a a knee-jerk reaction to get the community riled up, if you ask me, because it portrays it in a disingenuous way compared to historical data that we have. So we have not reached that point where that assertion can be made about Dead by Daylight being scared. Now, there's probably a lot of things that they weren't able to change because I'm told that the patch is already in on Steam. Uh, normally... They have to, takes a little bit ta longer to get certification for Xbox and PlayStation. So if we've talked about this in the past, they don't have a lot of time to make changes between uh, what the PTV is that they're giving us and the live version that's delivered. 
Uh, I've I've often heard that actually what we play in the PTB, they're one build beyond that already before they give us that PTB, and that the PTB isn't what is going to go to live ever because they're already working on the next iteration. So there's got to be some changes, but anyway, that's what's going on in the community that has people all stirred up. I am curious to see what's going to happen with those twins and if the twins remain like crazy strong. I assume there are going to be people like I already saw people who are like coming up with builds like this is the build that you have to run <laughs> to have a chance against new twins. I don't know. We'll see what it is tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens, what, what they've come up with changes because like it's not instilling a lot of confidence that that was the rework that they came up in the first place. So how am I supposed to have confidence about what the changes are? So they said there uh, was a bug with Victor on the PTB. On the PTB, he would be ready to pounce again in three seconds. It's supposed to be five seconds. There are some things that the timing was off, right? Like there were people who said that the decisive strike stun wasn't the right amount of time. I'm not sure like an extra two seconds is going to be enough to do the job <laughs> to keep Victor from mauling you the extra two seconds before he can pounce again. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but we'll see what happens there. Be interesting to see on live. But at any rate, whatever happens, it's always going to be a, this too shall pass. It's not going to be a, a game destroying moment. So are you going to do the two hour video of reacting to True Talent, reacting to Coconut RTS, reacting to Slushy? No, that was just a joke. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I did think that was a curious choice, though. I don't know. Like, I think just, you know, just react to the original video on your own. You don't need to react to people's reactions. Weird. It's weird. Okay, we're playing the noise game. We got Vactor Karma's Ruth Ann over there. We're going to play some killer this morning. We're going to start today the way we ended last night. That's with Tombstone Myers, because who doesn't love that? That's so much fun. We're going to show the survivors how much fun I was having last night. New plague outfit. Did I buy that one, by the way? I don't think I did. Is this the build we did? Yes, it is. You ran out of shards. I have enough cells, but what do I have? I'm like halfway there almost. We got a full week of double XP. I can't stay up too late because I got a delivery coming in one of these time frames. It could be 8 a.m. to noon, so uh, I have to be prepared to get up early, so I can't stay up too late. We might be on Warden's bedtime hours. This evening. We'll have to see how it goes. Warren's like, but Polly, I'm going to bed in an hour. Can anybody see my comments? Yeah. I see you, Anastasia. I was on a little mini rant. I wasn't I wasn't um speaking to anybody. What are we saying, Anastasia? I would like them to create a map for something like a castle or an underground catacomb so that there's a labyrinth. Sir, do you like the new map? Uh eh. Depends on what side I'm playing. It's a little, uh, little lopsided in the middle. I feel like when you're on that map as Survivor, you can't do the gen in the theater or the one by the statue early. Can you still get the Twitch shirts? Sure. Yeah. If you're a streamer, if you're a streamer on Twitch. I was having trouble commenting normally, so I decided to try a stream. I wonder if The Void will come back for the anniversary event. Getting close to talking about when they start talking about it. Vladimir. Good old Mikey. Look at all these flashlights. Wait a minute. Did that say one of them is a stripper? Well, you know, Michael doesn't like that. Michael does not like that. 
gets angry. Mm -hmm. You come down here, son. Good. My son's down here. When do they do the anniversary stream? Uh, I don't know. That'll be like late May, early June. Okay. Everybody's saying hi to you, Jordan, but you're sleeping, so I'm not going to pass those messages on. What I should do, is I'll come up now, I'll put my terror radius on this. See if we hit any of them with the oppression. Can't get her. Mm. Oh, that was supposed to be my tombstone. something to kick
Gotcha, bitch! Like she's letting herself go. I care about whether or not I tombstone you? That's funny. All I know is I killed a stripper. It's about to be a 5K. This is strong, man. This build is strong. It really is. Might not get a lot of points. Might not even get a lot of pips. But it gets kills. So if that's what you're interested in is killing. It's killing time.
Imagine tombstoning at five gens. That's what happened to me last night. I'm just like, I just want to learn how to use a flashbang. Mike was like, no. Ugh. He drove that fist up under my rib cage, got all up in them guts with the knife up to his arm, up to his elbow, up in my guts. Jam beard. Wow. It's about to be a 5K because I'm going to knock out. Oh, I'm murdering people, Josh. How's it going? Man, I can't believe it. I was like fast forwarding through that video to get it done before like 11 o'clock when I had to stream. And I just saw at the end where uh, Chris said, I don't care. I'm just going to put on the sodas. And he put the, the case of sodas on there. But I didn't realize that it was, you know, 50 bucks. I don't think that's what all up in them guts means. That, is that not what it means? Um, look, we got three more flashlighters. Confirm that's not what it means. It sure does. See, Mittens is on my side. Say it more often. All right, we're going to get all, all up in Lori's guts. I can't believe they upped the price. Like, we were here reviewing prices of things. Like, I was looking at the, uh, but I guess I had, like, screenshots of it. I was talking about that $6... Geralt and Weimaraner, whatever his name is, the guy who was with him, the two pack. But they raised the price on that one and they raised the price on that three liter soda because I was like, oh, maybe I'll go through there and see if there's anything else that I want to get. Because uh, I got my my penguin. My penguin Funko Shop exclusive from Pop culture and it was damaged. So I was like, ah, I gotta replace this. So I'm like, if I replace this while it's on sale, what else would I get? And so I started looking around. I'm like, wait a minute, this one's higher than it used to be. This one's higher than it used to be. And I was like, what? So now I understand why Chris and Heather were arguing about whether or not to put that um that X-Men soda cooler in their cart or not, because the price had gone up. I thought she was like trying to talk him out of getting it in general. I didn't realize the price. I was like, what? Have you ordered anything from PC since all those came in? Uh, so I just got a box from them today of 36 pops because I said, I'm not ordering anything, anything from them until like there's a sale. Normally I'd be like, oh, I want this. I want this. And I'd put in orders from time to time. I hadn't ordered from them in two months because I, you know, had it stuck in my craw about how they weren't going to do right for me. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to wait for you to have stuff on sale then. So on Easter, they had a 20% off sale. I said, okay, well, now is going to be the time that I'm going to be ordering stuff. So I got 20% off on like 40 pops. Man, where are they all hiding at? This man about to find himself on the wrong end of a long handled screwdriver.
Oof! How I didn't, mm, I didn't tombstone him. I saw the scratches. she is
Okay, so now we're gonna go for this jet, because I know he's working on this. Nice one. Thing. Oh, I can't kick it. It's still sparking. Okay, he's definitely going back here. Okay, I can't juice them anymore, so we're just gonna make sure they die. Just kick this for me. My man, just touch that for me. So that other gen that they had was over here. Bah! Hello, how are you?
losing frames. I hope not. Uh, is Polly a Myers main? No. If I was, I wouldn't be missing all those tombstones. That chase was a bit jittery. My game's been doing that lately. stuttering my game's been doing that in chase i don't know do it again i need to make all he's giving back to the community for his matches last night mm -hmm. i need to make myself look less intimidating take off my bloody cover of uh coveralls here but I do like the big knife. Look, and they're all getting party streamers. So that's good. The flashlighters are running rampant in the fog. I'm glad my team hopped off when we did. I don't like Tombstone Myers. This is arguably one of the unhealthiest things in the game right now, where you can run around tier three with no terror radius because of unforeseen. Can you think of something unhealthier? Don't say Skull Merchant. That's too easy. Just being able to basically stare at somebody and just eliminate them from the game. Nurse. No, I hate it. Nurse isn't that bad. Mm. I mean, jumping in a locker is really the only counterplay you have to this. Double play, double XP still active. I think it's active for a whole week. Might be active till the mid chapter comes out, which is another reason. Like some people think that the mid chapter is going to be delayed, but the fact that that newsletter thing is advertising that they're going to give blood points on the twenty third makes me think that the mid chapter is full steam ahead. Toxic Mirror. Don't forget, we're playing the game over on Noise if you want to come on over. Wow. What's the next DVD chapter? We only know about the mid chapter so far from, you know, official channels, right? Unable to pin. What do you mean you're unable to pin? Pin it. Something went wrong. Please try again. Pin. In. In. I'm gonna let you lull me to sleep. Don't you dare do that again to me and my family. What did I do, Mr. Pro-A-Pain? You sell propane and propane related accessories? The 
the next rift is coming out with the mid chapter yeah so they had been doing them like a day apart normally patches would come out on tuesdays and rifts would come out on wednesdays but for whatever reason they decided that it's all happening on the same day here on april the 23rd mid chapter patch and the rift and two cosmetic collections apparently Am I running out of any of these? What do we got here? I have 65 of those and 37 of these, so not running out anytime soon. We could take it up a notch and we could go for, you know, infinite tier three, but I don't know if, uh, I don't have too many of those. Samurai status. Somebody said that one of the video games in the arcade uh, had a Castlevania theme in the movie theater. Okay. So one fun thing you can do. Is this. So now, we'll kick this, and we'll go look for another gen that people might be on. Some scratch marks here. mean to do that. It's Alan Wake, for goodness sake.
So give this a thumb. Okay, so we got oppression value. We know that they missed that one there. Oh, there she is. you back here the ace i can't get any stock off of anymore Hey, Polly, you remember that time I beat you in that bet? I remember. She's definitely going into second. There is. tell she had off the record so i was like i might as well hit her here and then if she throws the pallet then she slows down her getaway speed and then that's the end Terror radius is here, and I know that they're working on that gen over there because he just failed the oppression skill check. But here we go, we're gonna try and mask ourselves as much as we can by the terrain. And then we walk in and yoink ah! like that. Hello. Ah! 
Go hit this. Okay, he's... Oh, what is this? At your check, you say, huh? Imagine if I could have timed it where I would have had another gen that I could have kicked before I did that. Yeah, there he is. He's gone. Wouldn't have made any difference. Not sticking around. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Can we go? Do, 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 do. Ow. There we go. End it. You're starting to look like a Myers main to me. I'm just trying to make Chocolate Daddy happy. Don't you want to make Chocolate Daddy happy? I don't think I'm... Am I getting any... Am I getting any pips? I don't even think I'm getting pips. They tried to trick me with the old hatchet shack, but I didn't fall for that. No flashlighters this time. I'm seeing an old hack other survivors now and again let everyone know who the killer is in the pregame lobby. Huh. Interesting.
Ooh, the treatment theater. You know what I like to do here, don't you? We going up. Get on up. Get on up. Where's this gen at? Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna put our face in this window. And we're gonna wait for somebody to come along and do this gen. Well, she kept going. Did she see me? Maybe might have seen me. Okay, so now what we do, we're gonna lull her into this false sense of security. We're gonna kick this, and then we're gonna come up on her like here. Yeah, that that got jittery there. A kick again. Well, that means this is their next gen they're looking to get right here. Let's see what going on over here. Things happening on this side of the map. Well. How savvy the squad that is. I didn't pop the tier three yet.
That was smart. She made it. She actually got there in time. The problem is I don't have a gen to kick, put my terror radius on it. Team has balls, I can respect it. Claudette that survives, I think. Oh. Mm -mm. Claudette wants me, so she's decided that she wants to be the one to die. Never mind.
Wow, there's, there's pallets there and there. She had that dead heart in her pocket the whole time. And suddenly she became a loop god. She went over it quiet. She just passed the controller to her older brother. Oh. Nice run from this Michaela. She got ten K bold. She was saving her. Do, 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 do. Never nervous, Purvis. Smarter than your average team, huh? I guess I am getting pips. Kayla did. Pekka Rose. I think that's her first and middle name. Last name's Wood. Pekka Rose. She goes by Pekka Wood, I think. Her W key ain't broken yet. Vault, 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 vault. How much do you think, like, auto dead hard exists? Saw somebody bring that up the other day, and I was like, I hadn't even considered that in a long time. Oh, Warden, it's our bedtime already. Good night, Warden. 
special hope. There have been some players that I remember remarking in games recently saying, man, they just never missed that dead hard. And then when I saw people talking about auto dead hard, it made me think back, geez, I wonder if like that was happening to me and I hadn't even considered it because I'd like try and bait it out and they would wait and wait and wait and they'd be so patient. And then they would just always hit their dead hard. And I'm like, man, they hit their dead hard every time. And now it's got me questioning whether it was legit or not. Not that person necessarily, but there was a flood ad a few weeks ago. Auto dead hard and auto hyper focus. That kind of sucks, man. Auto hyper focus. So you just hit all of those grates automatically. No matter how fast they're coming at you. It's kind of crazy. Does that also work on like cholerophobia? Skill checks? 30 seconds off the gen, because I don't know how people hit Cholerophobia skill checks. I really don't. I'm just like, oh my god, this is just so fast. I just don't even try to heal in Terror Radius. I'm like, nope, we gotta go somewhere else to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not gonna be a game where I sneak up on anybody. So I'm just going to slowly move in on her. What's happening here? She finally decided to get the let out. Steve, are you going to pay the price for what she did? Steve? Are you going to pay the price? Steve don't want to pay the price. Steve the Scare Scarrington. Okay, I gotta get some value out of this here. There's a basement here. It is. been better if she was dead but do what we can okay so they're trying to work that gen there I'm trying to work everything on that side of the map like nothing near me
There isn't a stitch of progress on that. So we make the bold play. We go up here, contest this gen. Put our terror radius on it. Try to get some value. Spin that. Spin that, Nancy. I can't even kick it. Just pick that gen randomly. Hi. Can I juice him enough? Target acquired. So now we're going to put our terror radius on this. And do we go for the gusto and try and get Steve? Ah! Yoink! I guess the answer is yes! Ah! 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 Which would you say is the strongest killer add-on? I think you're looking at it.
Yeah, that sucks. Even. I think it's only fair if Steve and Nancy are together, right? It's a long way. It's a long way to go to that gate, Steve. It's a long way to go. I don't think they're coming for you, buddy. See how far that gate is? See how far away that gate is? You and Nancy are gonna be together forever. You and Nancy are gonna be together forever. Forever and ever. Forever. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I lost a pip. Does the open hand thing still give it away? I never found that that was consistent. Tried to like determine it in, in private games. It didn't really seem consistent to me. Do. Oops. Search hot topic. My hot topic. This is my hot topic. Man, my hot topic doesn't want to sell anything. My hot topic doesn't want to sell Funko Pops anymore. Just a theory the community made. I did see, like, people that were like yeah this this can be done but i don't know never seemed consistent to me it looked like when he moved his hand would like change so wasn't very I think you're right about Hot Topic not taking on as many Funko Pops anymore. They used to have a huge wall full of them at the locations I go to. Then recently I saw maybe four shelves full. Uh, it just keeps diminishing and diminishing. Obviously the popularity isn't there. I remember like having to wait in line on a convention shared drop day 
they'd be handing out tickets to three dozen people who were in line. I got shut out of stuff. Now it's like I just show up and get it. I can. I don't even have to be there in the morning. I can go late in the day and still get con shared convention exclusives. You know why? Because the aftermarket isn't there, right? I hate to say it, but a lot of those people were motivated by resale values, like making money on it, right? What if I? Oh, there he is. He's staying. He's sticking around. He likes me. So probably they scooted back here to get this then. Let's go see. Nope. They just ratting? <laughs> Good night, Emily Catherine. There's a rat. Hey, buddy. You wasn't expecting that, were you? some experts on our hands here, huh? Good to know. Get juiced! And he's the guy that I drank off of the most. Get all up in them guts! See his eyes pop out of his head the way I got all up in his guts?
on his first day, too. My man. Oh, you so you know what I do now? Now I go up here. I missed both of these. Chocolate Daddy. So I got a couple of options here. Star. Can't leave her on the ground. You let him go. your autograph, Mr. Movie Star. Okay, so now people tell me you could see the door from here. Yeah. Oh, did I just catch a glimpse of her up there? I think I did. Over here for a minute. Oh my god, these doors are so guardable. So very guardable.
Did she crouch near the front door? I thought I caught a glimpse of her, but now I don't see her anymore. Let me investigate harder. Embers, I thought that was a light. I, I don't think there's enough time now to open it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Curly tried to trick me. gates against like Huntress is <laughs> like ah! I didn't get a pet so sad but I did get a movie stars autograph the red slime looked like stock juice I could have swore I caught a glimpse of her aura there like up on the balcony and then I don't know so I was pretty sure she was on that side but I never caught her in the act so I should have done the double back Maneuver. I should have doubled back. Ten like I'm leaving. I was the Nancy last game. Pleasure to see you in the fog, friend. I reunited you and Steve so you can go make babies in the Winnebago in the sky. Look at all these P100s. Got an Iron Maiden fan in the house. Don't see Jake's too often. Wonder if that's a fake. They're gonna switch to their P100 with a flashlight at the last second. Oh no, I already seen. You can't fool me, Sable. I already seen your P100. Nia, I know who you are. You were in a duo, so you were right on the money. Good luck in your games. Good luck to you too, Nancy. The end of an era. Thank you very much for that sub. I only noticed Big it now. I'm sorry. Zester of polyester. I'm sorry. I wonder if that was when I was ranting about the whole newsletter thing and all that. Ooh, where are we going to go? Are we going to go to McMillan? Oh, we have a fight. What was that one in the middle? Was that Hatchet Shack? It might have been Hatchet Shack. Gonna go to McMillan or Yamaoka? If I go to Yamaoka, I would prefer the Sanctum because I kind of want to just, you know, hang out up top and air upon the horizon for some survivors. That would be nice. For Sanctum of Wrath. If it's regular Yamaoka, I'll be less excited. McMillan, I don't really know what I would want. You know who I haven't seen people play is Yoichi. I haven't seen him in months. I wish, you know, I understand, like, you know, licensing deals are completed and stuff, but I wish they wouldn't just shy away from them. I wish they would deliver continued content. They know people want it. Look at how many times people say, we want this outfit for Jill, this outfit for Ada, this outfit for Rebecca, et cetera, et cetera. They know the demand is there for more cosmetics for those characters. So, you know, why not do that? Okay, I want to bust this, right? And what can I, oh, there's a person right there.
Oh boy. Jake want to get me the juice. Hey, what were y'all doing? What are you doing down here in the basement? Oh, oh I thought you were in the basement. Jake left. She was down there talking to demons. I can't do some anymore. Nerdy Hellion is my SoundCloud rapper name. Didn't mean to pop that, but. We know the body ain't saving if there's a terror radius, so. Hey, sunshine. Oh. 
bot might get away everybody They're all regressing. You got nothing to thump. It's a bot. Who cares? I agree. Like, see who it is. This is the bot, yeah? The bot, yeah. If the bot has, if the player has hacks, does the bot also have hacks? It's a ghost. It's a spooky ghost. Wait, this is... Hatchet Shack is this? What? What? How is that Hatchet Shack? Do you have a key, sir? I don't know if there's enough juice left on you. I think there is. No. I think it was Hatchet Shack. Ah! Ah! Bro, you're worth extra points for me to hook in the basement. The juice is loose. Was it basement at Shack? Basement at Shack. Ah, you're right. I just, the uh, time was running short and I saw like, uh, thing at Shack, let's go. I just got lucky it was there, I suppose. Jay Carter to catch in the survivor. I didn't pip my game. My toxic play style is not allowing me to pip. What am I gonna do?
Can we just take a moment to appreciate how petty Paul he is to be Tombstone Myersing all night because of his last match last night? Right. Right. What goes around, comes around. You know what I mean? What goes around, comes around. <laughs> I'm just showing people how unhealthy this is. It was me. Which one? Who was you, Andrew? I got taken out like in a minute of the game on Eria Crows. Tombstone. You were Bill. Well, stop running then, Bill. When you give me an offering, stop running. You know, it's like, you know how they say you just got to play dead? Like against a, a bear or a lion or something, you know, you just lay down and play dead. You start running, that gets the killer instinct going. And Myers, you know, you can't put that away. If you just like stood still and said, well, bro, we could talk about this. You put down the med kit and you were running. So then his instinct just kicked in. Yeah, if you'd run plot twist, if you just like, here's my med kit, plop on the ground, have mercy, sir. <laughs> Why'd that Jake do y'all dirty like that? That Jake was hard to catch. Couldn't even see him, man. He runs those walls perfectly. I hate bots. Thank you, Andre the Giant. Just look at it this way. We made it into a more memorable moment. If I would have just let you go, you would just like forget about it tomorrow. But now, now we have this bonding moment, you know? It has galvanized our relationship, Andre the Giant. Oh, I guess they want to go to the Strode Realty House, huh? Just think how much better it would have been if I would have got get, got my knife all up in them guts, you know, like I did with Jake. You didn't have enough juice left. Couldn't I couldn't juice you. Okay, here we are. I don't know if, how much of a home field advantage this is for, for Mikey. Let's see. Okay. Uh, can I go on the balcony of this house? Can I go in the back door, sneak around. See a little balcony perv here. Yeah. He's rat tat. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. You are there? Where's she going? Is she going back here? She go back here to do this, Jen? She is. Look at we got two of them. What? What? Oh shit. She hit that man right there. Now we kick this. And we will suspiciously. Ooh. Well, here's what we can do. trying to deny me pixels with his flashlight from this distance. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, let the good times roll. She gonna throw that. Go like this. She gonna go over there. And yeah! Oh!
Bye bye, ma'am. Come drop a hook now. Come drop a hook now. How she vault that silently? Come on, man. Oh, I didn't mean to do it that much, but okay. We're in it now. She is so lucky that it made me grab her off of there instead of tombstone in her ass. Oh yeah, foshes, foshes, genuine. What's up, homie?
Not un not unexpected. I figured that they were looping back around for the other one to get me. It wasn't like I didn't expect it, you know? You guessed wrong, Missy. You guessed wrong, Missy. Your mouse pad must be four by four. She said, screw this, man, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. 
Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Pop out of that, Dwight. <coughs> Highly considering making a poly all up in them guts button. Oh, no Look they both brought it The Alex's toolbox head-on head-on vigil vigil empathy empathy He's clicking his flashlight at me all game, and he's gonna be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe polyester hit me on the hook." He's like, "Click, click, 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 click." He's like this, click, 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 click. Oh my god, Polly hit me on hook. He's so toxic. Oh, oh. Victor, do I need to get a bigger mouse pad? You can tell I'm reaching the the edge of my my mouse pad and like bringing it back over. Do I need a big old a big old mouse pad? Gigantic one. Giant. Now I can just roll right off the desk. Oh. Husky Swordsman gifting that tier one sub to Andre the Giant. Thank you, Husky Swordsman. Huge. Let me check this Alienware website, by the way. No more keys left in the giveaway. <clears throat> Dead by daylight mouse pad. Andrew the giant. Oh, I read it wrong. My bad. Must be his brother. What is this? How big is this mouse pad? Oh wait, why is this in euros? Oh, it's in metric too. What's the biggest one here? 900 millimeters. It's in euros. Why are they all in euros? I'm on dot com. Uh oh, uh oh. What do I do here? Tina turn up. What do I do here now? I think I just go stroll in the hallways. Hi. We just pass each other and what just happened? That's my game stuttering. Hey, how are you?
Okay, so now we're gonna kick this one again. He's like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. Hey, at least it's a safe unhook. Now to kick this, we have no terror radius. Let's see, can we get any oppression value? Ooh. You have the American flag headband, and here's the American flag. It matches what you're wearing. Yeah, look, American flag and America. Yeah, American flag. You got the American flag headband. It's like it was meant to be. got no gents to kick. Hmm. 
way oh let me hear you say way oh galaxy I need some money. Yeah. We don't support prostitution around here, so. We don't support prostitution on YouTube. No, honey bear, we don't. I'm pretty sure prostitution would be against terms of service. You're the one who's out here saying, well, we've got to make sure we watch what is said in chat. And then you're like, what? We don't support prostitution on Twitch and YouTube? Come on, man. Michael Myers is the only one that needs to get up in those guts. Like you ate Michael Myers guts I did they were tasty I ate them with some fava beans I wish Michael Myers would eat me Woo! Do 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 do. You dropped a bomb on me, baby. You dropped a bomb on me, and you turned me on. Don't even get me started on the things I would do to Michael Myers. You dropped a bomb on me. Why are these mouse pads? I must be doing something wrong. AliExpress. Dead by daylight. Mouse pad. Damn, all the prices are in euros. I don't get it. Why is it euros? What is this? Why am I logged in as my country is Spain? That's why it's in euros. Canadian dollars. I'm in Canada land. How did I get on Spain? I don't understand. Uh. 
say yes to the zester of polyester. Okay, here we go. Now let's see the sizes. What is this? We have detected unusual traffic. This, this sounds like a bunch of hooey. More unusual traffic. Double-sided leather. Leather mouse pad? What kind of mouse pad y'all got? I usually have like neoprene. What is this? Large mouse pad. Mouse pad desk mat. Oh. You like that ghost face did. Maybe I can't. Oh. Give me that good good, David King. Just grab him, Mikey. You're making it so complicated, Michael. King, you're doing too much. You're going to need some more band aids, David.
Oh, hey, new girl. How's it going? Hey, what you doing? So we're gonna hit this. I know we got somebody back here. Hmm. So she hit this, the oppression, she blew this one up. get it I think I can get it I think I can get it off her please stop stuttering I can't get it off her I don't have enough Should have waited another second to get the oppression value there. Hey. Okay. Bye. Oh.
put her all the way back here. can't get any more off of either of them? Are you serious? Nah, I don't think so. You get to go on her hook. Maurice, you get to witness all of this violence. Yun Jin off of the save again. Oh. Maurice is pleased with all the violence. Don't have any. We don't have any hatches. He wants to drink in all of it with his three eyes. I seen a bird over here. I seen a bird. Maybe it was a bird landing. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. She got it. $36 for a big old mouse pad. How many, how much is a thousand millimeters? A thousand millimeters to inches. I think it's time for the 4K build from last time. 40 inches, that is a big old the big old mat. What do we do, Chocolate Daddy? What's the 4K build? You'll have to remind me. It's just different add-ons, right? What is the goal of our Meyer shenanigans? We're making everybody feel the way I felt last night. Isn't that what you do? 
when you feel misery you just go out in the world and you you spread misery to others isn't that what that's what the internet has taught me that's what you're supposed to do right Silent Michael with the screwdriver. Wait, what? What? Uh, unknown. Oh. F O R E. We got to give him the screwdriver. So I forget what we do in different add-ons where we doing uh, like infinite tier three stuff. It takes a hell of a lot. It takes a hell of a lot of stock. we can't murder anybody. We can't get all up in them guts. We might actually dip. Who knows? We might pip, Michael. What, uh, what level are you at here? 45. Oh, Brimful of Asha on the 45. Brimful of Asha on the 45. I maybe should bring... Maybe I should bring a uh, black ward. Like this. Because I only have eight of these. How many? How many black wards have I got? Nine. Eh. Hmm. I'll use one. It's the crazy witch. What is this? Uh, what did I say? 40 inches by 20 inches. That is going to be a big old mouse pad. I don't know if I need it that big. It's also not cheap. It's a six. You get a chance to watch the circle man there's so much good tv on tonight between amazing race survivor big brother canada just a lot a lot of stuff going on How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Hi. 
How are you? You stay there, I'll be right back. Alright, so we know somebody's over here. I'm still... Tier 1. Yeah, okay, go ahead. All right, we are locked in. I stopped playing this game because I suck. Me too. And I just decided, well, what if I tried to get better? I was like, that might work. Ah! See? If I try to get better, I might get better. She is. Hey, Biscotti Jane.
I'm in chase, bro. So I don't know how'd that happen? seen her cutting this way for the pickup You ain't rocking balance landing like your sister, though, you know? <laughs> they healed. Now I got you out of position, girl. Now what you gonna do? See, the thing is, I never broke this out, so you got to get back over here. That's why I never broke that out. And that's the end of that. They got that one done. Everybody wants a piece of Mikey. They want Mikey to give them the screwdriver. So now goes bye bye. The birds over here. I see somebody. I see somebody. I see somebody. I see somebody. girl hey girl hey how's it going how you doing 
Now I can kick this. We got oppression going. And we got no terror radius. Now we're looking for Jane. sparking I missed you galaxy hey girl all oh, this stuff is used But I'll take you back over there again. So now we'll see if she's gonna come save you. So I'm gonna put the terror radius here and I'm gonna park myself over here and we'll see if she comes to get you. She can't see me from here, so we'll see if we see Ania come moving through the grass towards that hook. There she is, see? this talk Jane there's nothing over there this now we'll break this wall if a weakling killer like me can do this isn't this broken <laughs> like I think unforeseen is pretty damn unhealthy but especially in combination with some of Meyer's strongest add-ons. And look, now I can start pipping because I'm not getting up in those guts with my tombstoning. Now I'm actually hooking people. Now I can pip. What time is it? Oh my God, it's 2.30. Okay, so if the Home Depot people come in. Oh, that'll be less than five and a half hours. We want the pipe. 2.30. Okay, you want infinite tier 3 or you want Mori's? You want tombstones or infinite tier 3? Give me Mikey's pipe. Mori's, Mori's. One more game. I don't need to use my black ward for this, right? I have plenty of these. Get all up in them guts with Mikey's pipe. Mm. 
Pipe down, Mikey. How many of these mores I got? 25. Get all up in them guts with Mikey's pipe. Yeah, Pied Piper. I'll have to use my stealth to my advantage on this because that's going to be rough. I need to, like, catch them unaware. Damn, this chat tonight. Michael Myers fan. Pied Piper with Mikey's pipe piping us down. Hell am I? The boy. Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Okay, that's all I can get from you. See you later. Now we have to identify a gen that they're actually working on. There's one there. Get off the wall, dummy. Where this person at? Oh, that's already.
Look what you just did. She getting a pipe on her knees. Did you see that? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to hustle back to this gen back here. Hi. What you doing, girl? Just always still sparking. He said bye bye. She said bye bye. See, this is what I'm talking about. How am I supposed to put? Oh, there's a somebody. Get up. Where you reckon these doors are at? I don't know if I... Mm -hmm.
There's one gate. Where is the other gate? Edges in the way. Not going to be easy. Man, look at these doors. I got the worst doors ever. Six, six, six. Do you see that's a number of the beast? Wow. I'm Pippin. I'm Scotty Pippin. Made it up to Ash One. Look at us go. Look at this silver four. Should be just doing killer every night. I gotta get caught up. Am I gonna get my rewards? Mikey is the beast. Mm -hmm. Oh, in bed. Mikey is the beast in bed. Oh, my God. Seen this person on Twitter looking at that scene from Dracula. Dracula is like a, I don't know, was he humanoid bat or something? They're in the garden. He's making love to that woman, the red dress in the garden. It's like gigantic bat, humanoid form, whatever. And she was like, I need somebody to rail me like this in a gothic garden in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh my word. Oh my word. I never heard such language. Like that meme with the person on the on the subway that looking at their phone and their eyes bugged out. That was me. Seeing that on my phone. I was like, oh. Well, all right. I guess I did I get it out of my system now? To hurt all these survivors the way that killer hurt me. Is that enough? I think I got out of my. Do you feel cleansed? I do. I do. Are your pores clear? No, I'm getting a pimple inside my nose. I think it's from Michael Myers' tombstone. Women read smut in the open now, Polly. I'm not surprised by anything. Are your crops watered? I think that's a euphemism for something, but I don't know what it means. Uh, 
I'm actually reading a smut book right now. What? Not Galaxy. Not my little future university professor, Galaxy Pox. Today, class, you're going to notice that the syllabus is a history of smut. <laughs> oh, man. I need a break from school. Alien smut. The probing going on. My son has taken us down the rabbit hole of these songs on YouTube. I think they're probably AI generated. Uh, what is it called? Um, obscure. Obscurest vinyl. Is this it? This is it. Obscurest vinyl. Let's listen to one of these classic tracks. Just look up James Joyce letters to his wife. It's a fun time. My bestie is forcing me to read her smut books so that she can talk with about the books with someone. I never knew that shit existed. I was, I was secondhand smoke exposed to smut at a young age, I'll tell you. Want to hear the story? Let's see now. Would have been the eighth grade. So I'd have been about 13 years old, I guess. And uh, my family had gone bankrupt and they were homeless. So I went to live with my aunt for a while so that I had a stable home and could go to school. My aunt took me in and uh, she had a daughter that was my age. We went to the same school and her and her girlfriend were like always making these jokes in front of me about something. I didn't know what it was, but they were like, hee hee hee. And they're like referencing that this book she had read to each other. And I like all the jokes were over my head. I didn't know what they were talking about, but I knew it had something to do with that book. Then when she wasn't looking, I went in her room and I grabbed her book and I just banned it open to, you know, it had a spine break where it fanned open to a part that was like reread or read a lot. So I'm like, it's probably here because the book has been cracked open to this spot. So I read it and it was a sexual book about sex in print. And I'm like, this is what they're talking about. This is what they're talking about all the time with their little inside jokes. I'm like, all right, now I know what they're talking about. It was a sexual book about sex. Yeah, it was some some fictionalized sex book. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, all right, now I know. Now I know the inside jokes are talking about the size of Herman's wiener or whatever it was in the book. I'm like, that's the joke. There was sex in the sexual book. I don't know where she got it. They were passing it back and forth. The little smut book that they're like, check out my smut book. And then we can each talk about the smut book and Herman's wang in the smut, smut book, right? I was like, all right, now I know. And I put the book back. And I never told her that I read the book, and that I was in that I was in the know on the joke. But then when they kept making the jokes around me, at least I knew what they were talking about. But I never let on that I knew and that I had read the book. Probably from their mom. I don't know where they got the book. But I, you know, it went on too long. It went on too long. They were harassing me with Herman and all this stuff. And I didn't know what it meant. Didn't know what it meant. But I was like, I'm going to find out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what shaped my life and put me on the path to finding out the truth.
That was a life-shaping event. Turned me into the investigative journalist that I am. I know how to find shit out. When people aren't looking, I sneak in their bedroom. <laughs> hey, that's a true story. It's a true story. I mean, it was like so many years ago. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, you know, what the book was, what the name of it was or anything like that. Don't you look at my books, you stay out of the attic. That was it. All right, so my son has got me on these songs here from this uh, YouTube channel called Obscurus Vinyl, which he thinks are hilarious. Listen to some of this. my balls to my butthole again fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on glue yeah I, I think these are like AI generated but galaxy I think we you know what I think we went down this rabbit hole because of an actual song from the early 1900s called my girl's pussy is that the one galaxy Oh, till the cows come home? This is an actual song from 19... He heard that one and then he laughed and thought it was so funny. It's an actual song from 1931. And ever since we heard that, now recommending us these other ones. People talk about how songs are vulgar now. Songs back then, right? What about compare that to WAP now? Of course, now that song's talking about his girlfriend's cat, obviously. It's raining. It's raining bullshit tonight So go outside and open wide It's raining bullshit tonight Yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, you know, we expanded our musical horizons the end of the evening. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do a noise only night. So we'll do like a build up on Twitch and YouTube and we'll bring everybody together on noise. Mm. Nowadays, songs are more satanic. Uh... Yeah, I'll give you that one. I don't think there's any. <laughs> I don't think there was some any, you know, satanic ditties in 1931, but. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Love y'all.